Bath. Uh, Jane and Jane Productions of um, showing you some acrylic painting. And, you know, Jane showed up today and did, we started talking about what we were going to do. And I said, hey, check out the paintings that we did before. And I went back in and worked on them and changed them. And she said, let's do a video on that. So that's a great idea. So I thought I would show you what I did. And in fact, this was just yesterday. Do you remember the house by the water and with the pine tree? Do you remember that? And it was like this big two-story house. Well, I looked at it yesterday and I was like, I don't like it. It's too awkward. The angles were, were just off. And I wish I had a picture of it. We didn't know we were going to do this, right? I can pop it in. Yeah, okay, yeah. pop it in. It was just bad. And so what do I do? You know, and I just thought back, what do I tell everybody else to do when this happens? Just kill it. Just get rid of it. If you're struggling with something, instead of keep trying to fix it, fix it, fix it, just kill your problem and start over. So what I did is I just knocked off the whole second story of that house. I just painted right over it. I painted a cloud. I, paint, I put a little bit more trees there. And then I uh, put a little red roof right there and just left it there. And... Um, and that's all I did. I decided to add a little bit more to the front garden and put some more colorful pic um, flowers. And that's about it. So I kind of like the painting. I kind of like the painting. I didn't like it yesterday. And so here we go. So I just kind of wanted to show you what you can do. And then I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to take this down. <laughs> Remember the chefs? Remember the chefs, everybody? Well, here we go. I finished them yesterday, too. And, uh, yeah, it's a, str it's a struggle getting their faces right because, you know, from across the room or, or a few feet away, they're, they're okay, but when you look up. But this is not to be looked up, you know, looked at up close. So I just kind of worked on their faces and um, using... About three values of the dark, medium, and lighter parts of their skin to just kind of sculpt their faces. I added more white. I decided to put a table in the bottom to cut that section off. And I think it's okay. Uh, people come into the gallery, they seem to be amused by it. So um, we'll see how that goes. But I like the colors in this. I think it's nice and warm and uh, it would be really nice in a cozy kitchen, something like that. So. Okay, there's that one, and I got one more to show you. Remember the flowers by the sea? <laughs> Here they are. I, all I did, I didn't do any changes to these. I just kind of went back and did another layer of paint. Um, I just kind of cleaned up. I popped out the white flowers with a fresh coat of white paint with a touch of Naples yellow to it. And then I went back and did some negative painting behind it. I just kind of freshened up the whole thing. And so now I'm pretty happy with it. And then I painted the sides. I just kind of pick a common color in the, in the whole painting. And then I always put a, uh, a wire on the back. And that's it. I have these little labels made up that say Jane Slifka Original. That I love putting those on there. And that's it. So she's ready to go. And I'll probably, before I go home today, before I leave the studio, I take a spray, you know, as I've told you all before, but I'll take a spray varnish, in, uh, an acrylic spray varnish, and, and cover this so it's protected. Do you know the brand of the acrylic spray? I think it's Krylon. Okay. Yeah, there's all different types. It depends on what you want. You just experiment. Everybody is different. So, I mean, everything I do doesn't have to be just the right answer, because I certainly don't have all the answers. And I can change my mind about, um, you know, what I, the materials I use at any time. So, and that's it for the changes that we do. And you know, it sometimes you'll have a painting and you'll it'll be you just look at it one day and you'll say, you know, I need to fix that. That's got to go. And then just paint right over it. And the varnish I use, it's kind of slick, but it's reworkable if you uh, use enough paint over it and then spray it again. So. It's not so slippery that I can't rework it if I, you know, if I want to. But um, it is, you know, 
you, someday you'll just look at a painting with a whole fresh eye and know exactly what to do to fix it. So, um, we decided to, we looked around the studio and decided to uh, talk about some other ones that we did. She's like, oh, we did the oranges, remember that? So, uh, here's the still life with oranges. And I also, one day, came in and said, you know, it's just too blah. This shape was just too big. Um, it, it just, uh, it demanded too much space on the canvas and it wasn't interesting enough. So what I did is I just imagined that it was transparent. So I added the stems of the flowers and suggested that there's water here that they're going into. And then once the stem hits the, the water, it kind of deflects and it um, isn't exactly lined up straight. I have reflections of the orange on the base because if this is glass, it's going to pick up what's the reflections of what's around it. I added more white to the flowers to make them pop a little bit more. And then, of course, the window. Because I wasn't happy with just this flow of nothingness, kind of a blah curtain. So um, it's, I always like to put windows in still life because we can kind of picture that whatever we're painting is sitting in front of a window and um, into another world on the other side. So um, I, you know, I just kind of did a suggestion of a windowsill, and of course the curtain is on the other side, but that could be, <laughs> that could be. Maybe this is sitting on a porch and that's the inside. You know, there's always a way. Don't always overthink everything, and, and uh, because it's all for the sake of the painting more than it is for the sake of, I don't know, the absolute truth of what would be, I guess. I don't know. That's just my outlook of it. You know, it's more for the painting's sake. I think I worked a little bit more on my oranges. You can see, to make your oranges sit flat on the table, you've got to put a you know, really dark uh, shadow underneath them. And then, of course, a lighter shadow because that's kind of been diluted with light a little bit more going across. Plus, I need that for design purpose. I don't think it was really there. I just kind of designed it. So here is my still life with oranges. It totally changed from when I painted it with you all. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to pull another one up. Remember this one? <laughs> the, the sailboat. The single little sailboat. And I, I think I worked on it a little bit more. You know, I know all you guys go, well, that's not fair. You get to, you're finishing them and we don't get to see you do that. Well, no, because I'm sitting there really kind of thinking about how I'm finishing it. It's just my personal painting experience, as you have your personal painting experience. And I can show you all my techniques and what I'm thinking and where I'm going. And, um, but uh, when, I, when it comes to actually finishing a painting, I need to sit there and, and think it out. I'll share my ending with you, but I need to really figure some things out one-on-one -on -one with my canvas. So anyway, I added, you know, this is all cool colors, cool, cool water, cool sky. And I put a nice kind of a warm brown on uh, this part of the boat. And I popped it out with some cadmium red light, which is an orangey red. You know, my red is orange in my world um, because it is so opposite of all the cool colors. And it makes everything pop. So just putting it right there makes this boat stand up a little bit. And that's a sienna, raw sienna, or the boat. With the, it's a burnt sienna, yeah, burnt. A raw okay. sienna. I have it reflecting down here. And then I think I used um, hooker's green mixed with light blue violet and light blue to kind of get these muted gray blues kind of thing. So, and all you sailors out there, maybe these sails aren't accurate because I just, you know. <laughs> just uh, made some brush strokes and hoped that they were believable. So that's the best I can do. So, um, and then I'm going to show you one more painting. But we didn't do this one together, but I might do something very similar today. Here's a little beach scene uh, that I totally invented. This was like, I didn't really see this anywhere. 
Um, but today I think I'm gonna, we're gonna paint um, sand dunes. So here's my sand dunes. And then I got a huge sky because sometimes I feel like when I'm at the beach, the sky can just take over your world. And uh, it's, it's so much about the atmosphere. So I like to kind of lower lower my horizon line, which makes it more sky, more atmospheric. And then I put my people, which are kind of blurred by the illusion of, um, they're almost in shadow from the brilliant light. So we don't see any real detail, but we kind of see them in silhouette with just a touch of color. But that's kind of when, when you're at the beach and you're seeing people in a distance, you don't see that much detail. You see their silhouette. So, but, um, and then I love to do my sand dunes with the shadows cast on the um, sand and, a, you know, a big fun sky, which who knows where it's going to go when you've got that brush flying in your hand. So, okay, well, thank you. And, you know, don't forget that I have full classes on my website, janeslifkagallery.com. I have full classes. You can go to my website and purchase them. They're only $25 and they're an hour long. And you get the original subject matter um, and you get the um, paint list. Paint list. And you get all kinds of little side things with it. And uh, we're having great success with that. We'll be making some uh, more, cl more classes in the future. But um, so, anyway, that's it for showing you my paintings and where I'm going and how I think about it. And uh, let's just see what's next. So see you on the next video. Thanks.